Natalie, we're just about seven months away from the Rio Olympics. I think a lot of people thought that London was going to be your last run. Why did you decide to come back? I decided to come back because I love this. I, I love the pursuit. Um, I love the daily challenge. I love training. I love competing. Um, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to come back after London either. And here I am. You know, it, time goes by so quickly now, um, but it's because I love the process. Those days when you don't want to get out of bed, yeah. when you don't want to get in the pool, you don't want to go weight train. Mm -hmm. Is that what gets you back in the pool? The idea that you could stand alone as the most decorated female swimmer in U.S. history. What, what gets me out of bed is knowing that this career of mine is finite. It's it's going to end at some point, and um, I'm in, I'm just enjoying the ride. Um, I know that you know I'm not going to be a professional athlete forever, um, so I have to just absorb every moment and, and enjoy it. And uh, I I'm doing that. Uh, recently, Michael Phelps was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, a really in-depth interview that he gave to us mm -hmm. here, and one of the things that he revealed was that. He was swimming and training hungover for most <laughs> of his career. That's how much he was battling alcohol and some of his demons. Were you shocked to hear that? Um, I, I mean, I was shocked to hear it in those specific terms. Um, I think he's done a really good job of growing up, um, and he's acknowledged the problems he's had in the past, and I think he's on a really, really good path. And um, you know, he's done so many amazing, amazing things in, this, in the spotlight, and um, I think these real games are going to be really good for him. What can he do now with this kind of renewed focus that he was unable to do when he became the most decorated Olympian of all time? Well, I think like one of the things you said is if he was training not at his best. Um, one of the things as I've gotten older, and I think he's felt the same way, is recovery is so important. And so, like I know for me, like focusing on my diet has been hugely important, especially as I get older. So um, I make sure to have uh, my recovery smoothie after every practice. So almond milk, almond butter, chia seeds, dark cherries, uh, bananas, and that, that helps me fuel up for the next practice. And um, I think the older you get, the more you have to take care of your body and the more you realize that you ha really, really have to take care of your body. Yeah, that Michael Phelps diet sounded really fun though. Pound oh. of pasta, <laughs> entire pizza, 16 waffles, all that stuff. It's really hard to talk about the Olympics and not talk about PEDs. And of course, Russia now has gone through this really mm -hmm. huge Olympic doping scandal. Mm -hmm. When you're up there on the blocks, are you looking over to the person to the left, to the right of you and wondering if they're clean? When you're competing, that's kind of the last thing on your mind. You you know, inevitably, there are going to be people who, who cheat. That's just uh, the nature of competition. But I think fortunately for swimming, it's a relatively clean sport. I, I, I do believe it's a really clean sport because there's so much technique involved. Um, you don't get the same benefit, uh, I think, like from power, just straight up power and endurance because there is just so much feel to the water that comes from hours and hours of training and doesn't come from, you know, a pill. Uh, before I let you go, I have to ask about you being in the SI swimsuit issue, of course, yeah. very famously Bobby body painted. You were also in the ESPN body issue as well. Yes. What's the difference between being on those two shoots? Oh my gosh, both you were well, there's one similarity, naked. yes. <laughs> both you were technically naked yes. <laughs> um, and both I was covered up. So um, I was able to share it with my grandma and so it was okay. Um, but yeah, the Sports Illustrated body paint issue was so fun. It was like such a beautiful work of art that just happened to be on my body. Like I felt so badly afterwards washing it all off because um, the, the makeup artist took like 11 hours to paint this beautiful swimsuit onto me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, it was really fun, really fun experience. Very cool. Natalie, we wish you all the best of luck in Rio. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.